Hey guys, well this is the latest addition to the garage here. It's a 2014 C250 diesel and um, it's a bit of a, not, I wouldn't say a dual wrapper, but it just is a bit of, a bit of love that this car needs. And we bought it because it was a really, really good deal. Um, as you can see, you know, the mag's there. You need a bit of love and attention, the caliper there needs to be clean. There's this wrap on the hood that I'm going to take off um, and on the, the roof as well. Um, but we got it because it's just a, it's a really good spec one and a, and a really good price, well under market value. So that'll be fun to work on it. Um, as you can see, it's got the AMG line as well. So um, yeah, and looks really good in black. Yeah, it's got the panoramic roof, which I'll show you inside as well. So as you can see here, very tidy. Uh, it's got the ambient lighting, obviously very important. These also droop as well, so I'll have to look into, into getting that sorted out. Um, but yeah, really nice big pano roof, very nice in the inside. Um, obviously you've got all your cup holders and armrest there. Um, all your air vents. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting. And now normally when I film my cars, I obviously give them a really good clean, but I wanted to give you basically a very raw look at this uh, before I start doing some work on it um, but yeah very nice spec um, as you can see it's got the, the controls here for the seat we've got the illuminated door sills um, this is the genuine leather it's not the um, the MB Tex Artico stuff which is the fake leather um, and coming inside again, got all your stuff, got your again big nice pano roof, which is beautiful. Um, and yeah, you've got all like your HUD, you've got your steering assist and your lane keep assist and all that sort of stuff. So I was out for looking for one that was the AMG line, which obviously is the flat bottom steering wheel, the outside um, bits and pieces as well. And uh, yeah, really good deal. Um, so very excited. Um, again, my first diesel, uh, so that'll be interesting. But I read some good reviews online about the diesels that they are kind of the workhorse. This particular engine of a lot of Mercedes cars uh, in Europe for taxis and and trucks and and vans and that sort of thing. So um, that's um, that's really really cool. Um, I had another C class before. This one doesn't have air suspension, and I actually prefer to not have it because I didn't find the air suspension that smooth anyway. And the, I had to replace the two rear air struts and it was not cheap so um uh yeah but anyway here we go all raw straight from the place the guy he even lost the button for the um push button start so i'm using the the key in there but uh, again that's you know like 30 bucks to buy one of those so nothing too crazy there and um yeah i'll keep you posted on how the uh the, the work on the car goes and uh, yeah, enjoy getting back into a European vehicle. I'll catch you around in the next video.